The Superior Court of Guam is now in session. The Honorable Elizabeth Barrett Anderson presiding. To call Elizabeth Barrett Anderson an overachiever would be an understatement. I'm so lucky to have only one of seven jobs. Uh, jobs or positions in the last 14 years. For more than three decades, she has dedicated her life to government service and the people of Guam. From a law clerk fresh out of law school, Barrett Anderson put in countless hours of hard work as the Department of Education's legal counsel. She was then appointed the island's first female attorney general, where she placed an emphasis on the Child Support Enforcement Division, met the needs of abused children, and addressed the growing juvenile problem. Wanting to make more of a difference, Barrett Anderson served as a two-term senator until she was appointed to the Superior Court bench. April 14th of this year will mark 14 official years as a judge, and she carries with her countless memories of her time on the bench. I don't have a most memorable moment, um, but I, I do have this feeling of some of the cases that, that are the saddest to me. Uh, where you have marriages that, uh, I think the, the longest one was 36 years that they, they, they broke up. Uh, the happiest are, are when I marry somebody and they're giggling. The hardest part of a job is sentencing someone to a long-term confinement. And when I see their families there and, and um, children and spouses, that, that's, that's tough. While Friday marked her last day on the job, she'll still be seen in the courthouse as she finishes out her caseload and the numerous projects she helped build at the court. The juvenile drug court project, uh, so dear and close to my heart. Mm -hmm. From there I went on to um, the family violence project. That, that was very, very difficult because domestic violence is, uh, that, that's a tough one to, to deal with every day. And then uh, I raised my hand for the DWI court project. Uh, because I think it, it helps uh, so many people in Guam to, you know, get them into therapeutic uh, uh, atmosphere and, and get them accountable for their DUI and don't do it again. If she hadn't gotten into law, Barrett Anderson says she would have taken her lifelong passion for drawing and been an architect. In a way, she's managed to fulfill that dream, building and designing a legacy at the court and becoming an architect of law and the legal process. Although she's officially retired on a piece of paper, it's evident she's eager for her next design project, ready to make it a masterpiece. My absolute addiction is taking that experience of 32 years and saying, ah, I know we can make that better uh, for the people of Guam. I know we can make this better. How do we make that better? I'm addicted to that, Mindy, and so although I won't have the burden of eight to five cases, uh, I hope to, con to continue to have that, that, that energy to, to want to do the next project uh, and continue doing those projects with the judiciary of Guam. All rise. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Mindy Egan.